Welcome to this video. Today, we'll be looking at the importance of zero. The importance of zero. The reason zero is so important is because zero acts like a placeholder. Let's see these two numbers, 45 and 405. The people usually know how to read this and why, but they don't really understand the concept and why it's different and why there's a zero here. Well, first to understand, you have to look at place value. This is a place value chart to the, from the ones to the thousands. The one central ones, the ten for tens, the hundred for hundreds, and you get it, etc. Now let's look at the first one, forty-five. So let's write this number. If we write in here, it won't work because only one number can mean each slope. So we'd have to do this: four, five. That equals four tens and five ones. Now let's look at the second number, 405. Now this is the reason we need the zero. In 405, there is no tens, but there are still hundreds. But if you remove the tens, then it becomes 45, because the hundreds becomes tens. Another way to think about this is, if this is zero, take the next number and box it together. There are 40 tens and 5 ones. Now, a way to multiply by 10 is just add a zero. So 40 becomes 400. 400 plus 5. So if you're having trouble to remember, just to remember why the zero is there, just remember that trick. And if you're getting pretty good at it, you don't have to do this. But just remember, the zero is there because there is no value in the tens. But it does not mean that it, it can not matter because the the hundreds is bigger than the ten, so you cannot put it in the tens column. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps and goodbye.